this is this is Esau's blessing right now. You know, this is his blessing to, to have this, this kingdom right now. That's the blessing that the Most High gave the so-called white man Esau, man, the fairness of the earth. So these are these they have the fairness of the earth right now. They also have the sword, which is another one of their blessing, man. That's why they go on military might to all these other countries, man. You know, but this is their turn right now. But what we're saying, but what we're, we're saying is that uh, that when Yahweh Shai comes back, when you call in, you call Jesus Christ, it's gonna it's gonna be the, it's gonna be righteousness upon the earth, man. That's in the Second, yeah, like the brother was saying, man, you know, what, what's going to happen, you know, and what, 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 what is brewing and what was prophecy, man, is there's going to be a, a, a World War III, man, you know, and, and there's going to be a, a, a ultimate, you know, war of, 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 of worlds, man, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of dominions, man. Yeah, because you know? you're going to have that World War III happening, man, and, and, as, and while that's happening, the Lord's going to crack them skies, man, you know, he's going to crack them skies and fight the nations, man. You know, because that's what's prophesied, which we're going to get right now in 2nd Israel, the 13th chapter, man. You know, all these nations are going to gather themselves together and, and fight the angelic power that's coming from, from, from another world, man. You know, coming from the heavens, man. Because you know, that's what the scriptures describe, man, that he's going to come from the sky. The, the scriptures describe when, when he left the first time, as you see him leave, he shall come. You know, so he's coming in great power, man. You know, it, it not, you know, where do you think the Lord got picked up in, man? You know, you think he, they, they, uh, people are simple, man. You know, they think this, of the scriptures as a, as a fairy tale, man. They have a very bad perception of what the scriptures really represent, man. Everything that the scriptures talk about happened, man. It's just you people who are blinded, man. What does the scripture say? That he's the Lord put a, a literally an angel there blocking them from understanding this truth, man. From getting the, the word. You know? Keep going. Right, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter 13. Let's see. This is uh, at the, from the top. It says, And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heavens. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So that's a vision Ezra is seeing, man. Ezra is seeing a vision of the end of days. He's saying the vision of who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which we know his name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai coming back and cracking the skies, man, and he's going to describe the way that the Lord is coming, man. He ain't coming as a man, like the scriptures say, man. That's how we know that the Apocrypha, it, it links up with the scriptures, man. You know, because the scriptures say in, 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 the, in the book of um, Isaiah, you know, that I shall not meet thee, meet thee as a man. You know, second issues gives you how he's coming, man. A vivid description of how the Lord is coming, man. That's right. Keep going, bro. That's right, brother. That's right. It says, all... He turned his countenance to look. All the things trembled that were seen under him. Ooh, everything's going to tremble, man. So right. we, we how we're trying, we're coming the missiles as well. You know, because everything's going to happen at a very rapid state, man. Because it says in one hour, this place will be destroyed. Right. You know, so the Lord's coming to subdue everything. He's going to make it known, like, you guys are punks, you know. Hey, the Most High wants a nice war, though. But, but you know, hey, we're going to read right now what he needs to do to these men, man. Because these men are going to be afraid, bro. All these soldiers are going to be a fucking afraid when the Lord comes, man. You know, they're going to be shitting their pants, fucking women crying. You know, they, who, you know, and that's what the society is, man. Right. right. Yeah, I was going to say real quick, the scriptures will tell you when I come to shake the earth. You know what I'm saying? So when the Lord appears, the whole earth is going to shake, man. His presence. The scriptures also tell you, uh, will you not tremble at my presence, man, in the book of Isaiah, man. It says, and when to the voice went out of his mouth, all they that burned that heard his voice. And that's the chariot, man, throwing laser beams, man. You know, shooting, um, the scriptures say that out of his nostrils. You know, came came fire, man. That's that's talking them chariots, man. When they throw flamethrowers, when they throw laser beams, you know, because those are the weapons that these chariots are equipped with, man. You know, that it's gonna be a crazy day, bro. That's where these um these Hollywood um, um directors and whatnot get their inspiration from, from the scriptures, man. That's where the you know apostles always go into that that world of the world, you know, where that little beam comes out and these people turn into dust, you know, because that immense power that these that these chariots have, man. You know, you, you Edomites are going to have much, you're not going to stand no chance. You know, there, there is, a, is a Lord, Yahweh, coming, you know, that that's his military, man. You know, the scriptures describe him, the, the Lord of Sabbath, oh, you know, Lord of armies, man. Right. And those, those, those are the, hey, in the Psalms it says, you know where it's at, you know, the scriptures say that the, 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 the eight, um, thousands and thousands minister unto the Lord, man. You know, those are all his angels, man. And the angels, hey, they're, they're, they're ready for war, man. They're deadly men. You know, they're the, 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 the um, Pretty much the, the hitman of the Lord, man. Right, you know. And, and you know what the scriptures say that the flesh and blood cannot inherit, inherit the kingdom of heaven. So what is it? Their bodies, man. The heavenly bodies have power, man. The Lord's coming with His angels with mighty power. You know, uh, uh, power that 
this world cannot cannot uh, uh, it can't contest against you know because you know as as, as Esau got his military and his tanks and his B-52 bombers and, and and whatnot the Lord has his his chariots his UFOs you know to come and subdue the earth he has his own army his own military his own weapons man and that 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 that, that, that deadly weapon man is that is, is those that that fire is gonna come out of the UFOs like you see in that movie um, Independence Day. It says after this I beheld and lo there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Yeah he's coming from the sea man because that describes the, the atmosphere man. You know he's coming from from outer space man. You know, because the scriptures, and, and, and um, I believe in Matthew, it says that, that um, um, he ascended into a cloud, man. He ascended into heaven. You know, he, he went up, man. He come, he, you know, he come from an actual sea. You know, so when he, the scripture says that he should come from the sea, it's talking about the, 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 the sea of stars, man. You know, there's a, they, in the world, you know, in, in science, they use that. You know, there's seas of stars in the, in the heavens, man. So that's where the Lord's coming, man. Sure, you know. Right. Right. Oh, I'll get that real quick. You know, because the book of Discovery is going to come in the sea from the stars. I was describing the sherry that's going to be coming upon, upon the earth there when, when uh, Yahweh Shai comes back. He said, I'll start at first, for first, for first, for a thicker wire of fiber one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying woe. And that's what they that's what the words that they used to describe the sherry in the ancient days, man. Because that, that, was, that, that was their time to understand it. They didn't know no other way to describe it. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I, and I answered and I said, A flying bow. Once again, that's a chariot. That's what we call chariots. That's what uh, you people, the, the rest of the world, call real foes, unidentified flying objects, man. But we, we call them, we call them identified flying objects because we know what they are. They're the chariots. They're of the Most High, man. Right. Israel, man. He Israel, says to, um, in Elijah, I think to Elijah, he told him, These are the thousands of Israel, man. These are the chariots of Israel, man. God. And he was seeing a bunch of chariots in the heavens, man. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying wolf, the least of about twenty cubits, and the breadth of about ten cubits. All you gotta do is YouTube, you know, UFO sightings, man, and you'll see what the, what the scripture describes. You know, little, it, there's little tools, you know, there's, they come in all different shapes, man, because these things could shape shit. You know, they have that, that technology, man. These trees are on a different level, man. There's a heavenly powers. You know, they did de 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 make you, um, I can't even say that. They word. materialize. They materialize yeah, from here. Because I wish I did that, bro. Yeah, you know, he'll be right there posted with the, with the, you know, just imagine how trippy that would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just chilling there with you, you know. He probably had his hand on you and yeah. he just disappeared, man. That was the power of our Lord, man. That's how it shines power, man. Right. And when he showed himself, you know, after he was crucified, he showed himself to the apostles. And, and what happened, man? They 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 couldn't they, they they didn't know it was him until he changed appearance. Yeah, you know? he, he, he he revealed himself. That it was him. He thought it was somebody else. From off the face God, of the earth. Keep on going. Hey, that's bad, man. And the elect are gonna be able to do that, man. You know, they're gonna. Hey, man, the, the, that's the, that's the inheritance of the elect, man. That's why we always preach the elect, man, because it's all about the elect right now. You know, first and foremost, you have a shine, man. But, you know, it's about the elect doing the work, man, maintaining in the fight. You know. But the Lord's gonna give the elect man spiritual power, man. Right. Like power over the elements, the ele over every element. So we're going to have power, of course I wouldn't be be those things, we say the hungry, we're going to have power over the elements, man. You know, over, over every molecule and, and, and whatever cell that, that there is, man. Because hey, Jehovah Shai had that, you know, he, he walked on water, he changed water into wine. Why? Because he has power over the elements. He can do as he will, as he wishes, to whatever he wanted to do, man. And well, you know, uh, hey, he told Peter, he told Peter, come and walk, walk on the on the water, man. Hey, what, what did Peter say? He suffered me to come to you, Lord. He says, come on, man. Hey, man. And then he fell. Yeah. He yeah. said, what? Ye a little faith. And the disciples said, real quick, brother Salaki, they said, hey, what kind of man is this to rebuke with the wind, man? So, oh, you make the sea. Hey, man, yeah. Follow that the power, man. Yeah, follow yeah. them like the bug going into, man. Hey, you know, your yeah, I was tripping the fuck out of these disciples, man. You know, the things yeah, he was yeah, doing, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture that, bro. Hey, like, the afraid of the things that he was doing. I'm worried, man. Right? Oh, God. What did they describe your Yahweh, his father, as in um, uh, a demon like power, man? I, I don't remember the Hebrew word for it, but, yeah, you know, they described him as a demon like power, man, because of the things he did in the ancient world, man. You know, those plagues he set upon Egypt, man, that, name, that made his name renowned, man. You no, know, because everything that's going on in the earth, man, it's about Yahweh's name. You know, that, that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it's made a, 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 a grand pure thing upon the earth, man, that everybody knows that name. And it's exalted, man, you know, through his people, the, the, the nation of Israel, man, because the, the, the nation of Israel is going to be in complete order under Yahweh, man, you know, under our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, man, King David, you know. The proper order is going to be put back, that, that proper, um, Divine rulership is going to be set back in the center of earth, man. You know, that proper order, bro. 
you know, the leg ruling, or, uh, the leg governing, you know, in a righteous way, man, a way that they're going to be like, we're going to be perfect androids pretty much, man. You know, we're, gonna, we're not going to go out, man. We're not going to sin. We're not going to do nothing wicked, man. We're not going to look at no one, you know, at a brother or anything, at no type of way, you know, none of that's going to be there anymore, man. Nothing's going to be there no more. You know, no, none of that wickedness, you know, that cause it's not perfect here now, right, right, right here right now, man. You know, because we're rehearsing the righteous act, man. Ain't everything going to be perfect. So that's what we're seeking so much in Havu Bashim Hashem. We hasten the coming of our Lord and Savior, man, because we know what's coming. We want that divine state of being, man. You know, we want to be in order, man. We want to be perfect. Okay? John, I got this real quick in the book of John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. That's the spiritual power, bro. That's what's coming to the earth. You know, and it was shown. Yeah, I wish I kept his word. When he died, the, the prophets, the disciples were doing even greater, greater, um, greater, um, um, greater uh, miracles than that, man. And they were bringing people back. And they were doing all kinds of things, man. So much that the scripture says that not all things are written, man. Not all things can be kept in the book. Uh, not only their, their works, but we have a shot, man. He did so many good things. So he, did, he worked so many miracles, man. He made it known that he was the, 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 the anointed, man. That he, he was the Messiah, man. These, these, these fucking, um, these, um, Pharisees knew who he was, man. They knew that he was the anointed man, but they envied him, man. They they, they gave him up because he knew that he came out to take him out of power, man. Everything that he was teaching was contrary to what they were doing, man. And, and the scripture tells you he marveled, he marveled at Jerusalem, man, because of their unbelief, man. That's crazy, man. You know him doing all these miracles, and basically, to be honest with you, you know, hey, they were hating on him, man, because they, cause, cause they, they didn't want to get off their, their positions, and they wanted to be, you know what I'm saying, with the white man, they wanted to be in cahoots, and, and, and have fame and glory on this side, and it's not about that, man, it's about doing this work humbly, man, it's about, you know, seeking after your own salvation, and, 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 and being a brother, you know, and, and really teaching this truth, man, but, but, you know, the point is, is that, hey, man, Yahushua yeah, did a lot of miracles. He's coming with great power, man. Great vengeance, man. Great glory. You know? This is a Second Ezra 13. Back in Second Ezra 13. It says, uh, 6. I'm going to run 5 back. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. I go back to right here in Revelation 7. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against uh, and his angels. So like, and the angels, and the dragon fought in his angels, man. You know, those angels, you know, are, are, are Esau's military planes. You know, his, his, his pretty much military men, man. Those are the devil's angels, man. You know, and, and, and this dragon represents that, like we said, the whole society, you know, this whole EU, um, um, Roman Greco system that, that's ruling the earth right now, man. You know, that new, that old serpent, man, that Rome. You know, because this is Rome reincarnated, man. Right. You know? And it's, being, it's ran by you, by you Edomites, you damn devils, man. You are that old dragon, that serpent, and Satan, man. They come with all the power signs and, and lying wonders, man. But it says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. A great mountain, man. What is that talking about, man? You know, that's, that's a parabolic talk. Cause the, the, the mountain that, that Ezra is seeing, man, is a great mountain. It's a great ship. You know, the bird, you can receive that, man. Right, it's a big spaceship. Because the Lord's coming back in, in, in a big spaceship, man. That's why they make movies like Independence Day, man. That big old spaceship that was that was over the White House, that blew the White House up, that's what the, the Lord and the angels are coming back in. They're not such things as, as aliens, man. That's what the heaven, that's what the scriptures are telling you. But what? But it's your people, you damn serpents, that they be lying, man. It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain, and flew up upon it, but I would have seen the region or place. Hey, that's a power, bro. That's power, bro. A great mountain, man. Like it says that, like, like the scripture's gonna say right now, a, a mountain so damn big, bro, that you couldn't see the end of it, man. You know, like those, those are the chariots that are gonna come deliver the elect, man. Wow. Just imagine being in, inside one of them chariots. There's gonna bro. be numerous thousands of those chariots, yeah, man. There's gonna, there's gonna be thousands, there's gonna be five thousands upon thousands, even ten thousand. Yeah, hey, that's the father ship right there, though. Right. You know that, that, that we call mother ship, father ship, the father ship. Yeah. You know, Esau called it the mother ship because why? Because he worshipped the mother, he worshipped the woman.
a feminine ass. Yeah, he's a fem yeah, he's a feminine person. You know, tomorrow you got the so-called Mother's Day, but what? Most, a lot of you jakes are gonna bow down to your woman, man. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna bow down to your woman. You're gonna, you're gonna be subjective to her. They do the same in the world. What do they say? They say uh, in the world they say a happy wife, happy life. Yeah. What does that mean, man? That that in order for you to have those type of fucking sanity in your goddamn life, you gotta bow down to this fucking woman, man. You know, which is totally off, which is against the scriptures, because the scriptures can be described that the that the that the, the, the man is over the woman. The, it, it, the order is this, man. It's it's your it's your how about shit, you shy. It's the man, and then it's the woman, man. But society teaches something differently. But we know that that's that's that's, that's the curses. We, we know that the, the scripture says that in the last day the the, the most high put the woman over the man. But going off the subject, I'll get back to the table. Huh? This is. But I would have seen the original place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. Ooh. He was talking about. He was trying to see. You know. Where it came out of, but he couldn't because it was it was it was too big. It's too damn big, big, bro. Too damn big, man. It's just just imagine, bro. And there, you know, there, there's events where you know this chariot could go as small as a ball to to the size of a planet, man. That's the power that this chariot has, man. You know, they bend elements. They, <laughs> and that's your highest power, man. That's the God's power will keep them apart, man. Well, well, you know, when you see that movie Independence, you see how big it was, man. It covered it covered. People couldn't people couldn't see the end of it, man. And, 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 and when you see the the, 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 the the military and their and their um those ships, what are they called? The, 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 the airplanes, the jets. When the jets came, you see how small they were in comparison to the to the UFOs, man. They're real little, man. It says. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. They were afraid, man. The people that are going to come against our Lord and Savior, how we when those armies are gathered, man. They're going to be afraid of that great mountain, man. They're going to be afraid of the chariots, man. You know, it's going to be Independence Day on steroids, man. You know, but the biggest, the biggest um, shock is going to be that in those chariots, you know, those angels are going to be so-called black men. You know, they're all, the angels are all black, man. So-called black, you know. They're just dark, dark, really dark brown. They, huh? they come, man. They're going to be afraid, but they're going to continue to fight, man. So the Lord's going to put the spirit in them to, 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 even though they're going to be terrified out of their mind. Yeah, the Lord's going to, the Lord wants to fight, bro. He wants, wants to fight, he wants to rumble, <laughs> you know, to, 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 you know, because he wants to really show his power. He's going to let Esau really come at him. You know, he, he, you know he's... You know these these chairs got four skills, man. We, we don't even know, man. Well, they got four skills, and they can they, they can uh, uh, they, they can uh, reappear, uh, disappear, uh, uh, vaporize whatever weapon. Hey, the, what did the scripture say? It said, "No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, man." So no weapon that Esau makes shall prosper against the, the against the ultimate power, the Most High. Man. They could go underwater. You know, they could just obliterate, man. They're made of out of out of this world materials, man. And they don't talk about it no more, but. Trump brought out a thing a few months back ago that he had a U.S. Space Force, man. Right? Because they know, they know that the chariots are coming. They know the chariots of Most High are coming, and they're, 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 they're trying to do a countermeasure against that. And I think even Ronald Reagan brought that up too, man, that we have to align ourselves against a, yeah, another, he's, he's another saying, threat. He pretty much said that uh, for, for all the nations to gather together, uh, 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 invasion from the um, alien invasion will gather all nations together to, to fight that, that, that invader, man. Yeah, that, that's uh, basically yeah. That's that's straight, that's straight from the scriptures, man. So that U.S. Space Force, hey, that, that, hey, that's in effect, man. Hey, Esau got his shit set up to, 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 to what to, to fulfill these scriptures, man. He got his shit up. He got his military set up. He got his U.S. Space Force set up to fulfill these scriptures, man. Because he knows that these scriptures are true, and the, prop the, the prophecies and these scriptures are coming to pass, man. Right. And the ultimate prophecy is what? The return of Yahweh Shai, man. Right. That's the ultimate prophecy. Hey, if I may say real quick, but in Isaiah the 14th chapter, it tells you, man, I will ascend an, above the stars of heaven, man. I will be like the Most High. You know, that's what he did. He went into outer space, man. He put he put uh, satellites up there. That's why you got internet, man. That's why you got um, you got um, you got satellites to shoot lasers too, man. You also got you got nuclear weapons up there. You got weapons up there, man. You got telescopes and stuff like that. So, cause he's trying to have his eye in the sky. That's where they get that Illuminati. Uh, they get that eye. You know what I'm saying? They see everything. They're into everything, man. They, they, they believe that they are the enlightened ones, but we're the real ones. Hey, they, we're they the ones that really know what's going on. They think they're going to see a hell of a coming, man. They think they're going to detect them coming, you know, through the radar and whatnot. They think they're going to see it coming, man, but not. The scriptures say, man, that if a thief has a knife, there's going to be a surprise to everybody when he comes when he comes here, man. There ain't no tracking uh, them chariots, man. There ain't no tracking Yahweh, man. You know why Yahweh shy? You, 
can't track that pop, right. that, that yeah, immense like power, man. He is. He created you. That's right, you know? Hey, you know what? And, and they got their telescopes oh, all right. looking in the outer space. They got those telescopes. They, they know what, They know that those those UFOs are, are the angels, man. They, they know, man. They, they, they're just 24-7. They're watching them. They're just looking up at them 24-7. They see there's videos of actual UFO, so-called UFO movement, 24-7, 365. And they've been doing that NASA. The, I think they, they even stopped doing the NASA live feed where they just have um, a camera looking out into space. You know, pretty much, I guess, they shut it out because there was, there was too many um, chariot appearances. Uh, you know, too many chariots were poking their heads around, man. You know, because, hey, that's the, 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 that realm is of the chariots, man. You know, what does the scripture say? That, 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 that That's the Lord's playground, man. That's the Lord's, you know, where, where he dwells at, man. Heaven, you know? That's right, brother. I'm going to finish this up, okay? And there was, this is Revelation 4 and 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven, and the, dra and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You know, because that, that, that represents our Lord and Savior taking that man down, man pulling him down. You know, the other scriptures describe that they were thrown into the lake of fire, man. Because they're gonna be um, um, obliterated by that that that, 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 that fervent heat that that that, that it talks about in Second Peter's man, you know, that they as a, that should burn as an oven, man. You know, yeah, your Christian churches they teach you that they're, they're talking about how uh, uh, the Most High and His angels gonna fight so-called Satan and His angels, man. Some kind of myth, and that's all bullshit, right? They're like some freak shit, you know. They believe, yeah, in the churches they they believe that in the, in the beginning in the Council of Heaven that uh, you, you know Jesus Christ had a better idea what life would be, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and what Lucifer, who, when you looked upon him, it was music, you know, uh, his wasn't so pleasing to the most high, so he was rejected, and him and his angels were cast to earth, to the ground, you know, that's what they did, that, that's what they taught you, and what did they teach in the fucking Mormon church that, uh, that they were brothers and shit like that, some kind of crazy nonsense, man. You know, there, there's, a, there's a fucking little cartoon on YouTube Mac that you can watch, man, and yeah. it shows all that bullshit. Mind oh, yeah. you, you know, Satan is the son of the Lord, man. It's his wicked son, you yeah. know, because the Lord has righteous sons and wicked sons, man. Yeah, he does his bidding, you know? And you can Satan's read, under, the like Satan's on order, bro. And you can read that in, in, the, in the beginning of the book of Job, man, that tells you that the sons of both sides came to present themselves, and Satan was among them, man. And so, so Satan is the son, so what you call Satan is, is the son of the most, uh, the son of the most high. Because what? He just does whatever wickedness that the Lord wants him to do. Whatever evil that the Lord wants him to do. And so, so, so what happened in the book of Job, man? And the, the Lord made a, made a bet with, with Satan, you know, with the spiritual, the spiritual, Entity, demon, Satan, and said, "Hey, look at my servant Job, man. And what, and what, Job, what did the Lord allow Satan to do? So, the, the Satan, what you call Satan, the Lord was allowed to do nothing without, without the Lord's permission. But you paint this fucking Satan up in these Christian churches that he's, a, he's a, a power by himself, and he just, he just a good and bad, and, and, and two and bad versus uh, Lex Luthor and some crazy shit like that, man. That's how you account for. But what you don't fail to understand is that the Most High has control over everything, man. Over everything." You know, there, there is there is no uh, evil force against a good force, and, and we'll see who's going to win, and, and, and this ultimate battle that, you know, the devil and his angels, and the, the demon, the devil and the demons, and, and, the, and the Lord and his angels are going to fight it out and duke it out. No, man, we gave you an understanding about that. You know, we, we told you the understanding about that. We told you that this, this so-called white man, which is the devil in the Bible, he's going to raise up an army to fight against these, these heavenly hosts, these chariots, man. You know, that, you know that's why they, like the brother was going into, they make these movies like Independence Day, man. You know, they make these movies like the, like that Tom Cruise and what's it called? Uh, what's that movie that Tom Cruise? Is that it? But what's the big bitches right now? World at War, man. So, so, so they know, man. They, they world of World. Yeah, World of World. The world. They put it in these movies, man. They put it in these movies. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, bro, because that's great prophecy. You know, that, that's what's to come to the world. You know, listeners that are... Right, they, they know, man. They know, they know. Cause, you know, they... they the scriptures say their wives are in Daniel, man. They, they know. No secret can be hidden from them, man. They know the scriptures, man. They actually, you know, to, like like the apostle brothers have said, man, to tell a lie, you have to know the truth, man. Back in 2nd Ezra, 2nd Ezra 13 and 9, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, out of his lips a flaming breath, out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And yeah, that's the Lord's chariots, man, taking fire, you know, the 